finally got it all put together. And it's time to tear it all down. It's time to show you what we're taking to CES and the AT&T Hackathon. Welcome to Geek Beat. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by... Blender.com. I don't see a tally light. Is that thing rolling? <laughs> I don't think we have tally lights on Oh, okay. Yeah, but we will at CES. Oh, we will indeed. <laughs> so isn't it amazing how much work we put into building our trussing system and our entire setup for CES? Only to be forced to take it down. And put it in the trailer. That's what time of year it is, as always. As you guys know, if you've been watching for a while, we always do these videos, what we're taking to CES, and this year we actually get to add a whole new event. That is true. You get two in one. It's bonus. Hey, that was buy one get one free. That was actually like talented. Two in one. I it would take me know, thought for me to do that. I know it surprises you that I'm able to do this. <laughs> two in one. But at least you should be happy that the two in one. This is the finger that remained up. <laughs> true, I guess so. True. Thank God for little things, right. right? So we are we have two bonus. We have a bonus event this year prior to CES. We're actually going to be bringing you guys the AT&T Hackathon On. from Las Vegas. Yes. Did I mention we're going to Las Vegas? Oh, no. I don't think we mentioned it this time. Yeah. Las but Vegas. we are very excited. That is going to be a very cool event full of innovative startup pro uh, projects. And people are doing really cool things. I cannot wait Hackathons. to see it. hackathon so, things. You go to AT&T. Sure go to geeky.tv forward slash ATT and register if you mm -hmm. aren't. Or if you're going to Vegas... You might as well come and watch the AT&T Hackathon. Exactly. And that's exactly where you'll go to watch it on uh, next Saturday, next Sunday, I mean. Geeky.tv forward slash ATT? Yes. We're going to be able to use the same URL for that as well? As long as it works like it is in my head, which doesn't necessarily mean... Okay, let's talk about what we're taking to do that because we are, for the first time, going to be taking... The Trugester Mini! Ye old TriCaster Mini. We have our little... You can uh, barely you can barely know it's in there because it's so tiny. I know. We have our Look. special TriCaster Mini Under case. all the cables. Yep. And John, you have done a brilliant job at packing in everything we need for the TriCaster Mini in a single little um, Pelican case. My brilliance was uh, based on the fact that I was able to pluck foam out of this is that, no i just mean like brilliant. this is a small this is a case that will go <laughs> that in is true the cabin on an airplane for goodness sake. that is true and look we have the little you guys have been asking me about things yes. like well what kind of monitor would you use with that little tricaster mini well how about the g chick g chic g, g, -chic. g chic i think g -chic. Not, that sounds better yeah look look how small it is this is a full 1080p led monitor it has HDMI input on it. It has VGA input on it. Uh, it's powered by USB, believe it or not. It's not a USB monitor, but it uses just enough power from USB ports to then be an HDMI monitor. And of course, we have the control surface for the Mini. That's right. Packed very nicely the mini right in control here. control surface. And everything else. We got power, we got keyboard, we got mouse, we got everything. We also have a router over That's right. here and all sorts of cables and... Um, Do you know why we have the router? Well, because uh, that is what you need in order to use the internet. Partially correct. The reason we have that router is because while we're doing our AT&T coverage, hackathon coverage, we will be watching the chat rooms. Yes, we will be. And this will we'll be watching you guys. This will set up our Wi-Fi hotspot so that we'll be able to use our little tablets for our run sheet. We'll use a laptop for the chat room. We'll chat back and forth with you guys. So if you have questions during the event, and same thing with the CES, with CES. which we'll get to in a minute, but we use a different router yes. for that one. Okay. Um, we've got the little uh, Pro Mix. Four. Oh, this is new. This right, is brand down. new. This is brand new. We've just added this to our collection, our repertoire. This is a little audio mixer. It uses a little portable up, one. Yeah, a little portable one. Up to four incoming XLR cables, each individually adjustable outputs. So this is what our microphones are going to run through, so they can, because I'm a little bit loud. Yes. At times. Well, your voice carries more heavily than mine. I My would voice say. is very manly. <laughs> so. 
so they can, they can adjust us separately and, and so you guys can hear they can us. shut me up in other words with this <laughs> thing so this will go from our mics into that we also have our awesome manfrotto tripods These that are, we will be oh you have that oh, oh, oh they're in there. strapped in there wow yeah yeah they're strapped in these are these our fluid are awesome. heads so you know what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna have a couple of these down focused on us yes but we're gonna have a couple of them up in the balcony focused so, on the action that is happening up on stage that's right because so, las vegas there's going to be action of course there is uh so those are the manfrotto <laughs> tripods and then we have lights down here that we'll be taking all sorts of cables down there oh uh hold on you tell them about oh, that yeah. box because headphones are important okay so we're gonna have cameras up in the balcony but we're gonna have people downstairs so we're gonna have people upstairs people downstairs guess what lots of um um, walkie, walkie talkies. talkies. I, I wanted to say like a completely different word, like radios. Z I don't know. Zombies. I was, I was coming it up with started with, with crazy a Z. Words. I don't know. I don't know. So but we walkie need walkie talkies. Yes. Hello. Do not give Hello? her one of those walkie talkies, please. Somebody talk to me. Dear Lord. Hello. Let's move on. Take the walkie talkies. Don't take my away. walkie talkies. Hello. So. So, yes. <laughs> good God, <laughs> this is going to be a problem for the rest of the show, I'm pretty sure. Yep, I got, um, I got mine on. You don't um, have to talk into the walkie-talkie. Okay? I, I think it's the only way they can hear me. So, <laughs> All right, CES. We are taking the big, big trust to CES. This is so big, we don't even use this trust like this here in the studio because it's so big. It's 30 feet long by 15 feet and Why? it is and not even as tall as it's going to be at true. CES because we don't have the space in I here I won't be able to that. do this. No, it'll be too tall for well, that. Well, I'll have to climb to this do that. This is, what, about climb. eight feet right now? Yeah, this and it'll is, be about 10 feet. Yeah, this is eight foot. We got sections over there to uh, raise it up. So it'll be yes. 10 feet. 15 by 15 by 30 by 10. Now, uh, let me show you something interesting. Oh, but before you go over there. Uh-huh. Let's just make a note real quick because we haven't shown anybody this. This new. is not part of the trust. This no, is actually part of the Geek House. It is part of the Geek House. Why don't you tell them what you did, John? Well, we made monkey bars for the Geek House. No, well, not really. Uh, that's not what you told me. Okay, well, uh, what no. I, the justification for this <laughs> was when we have parties and things like at our grand opening and stuff, we put this bar up around this pole so that we could hang cameras and lights from it to keep them off the floor area. So Otherwise, that when we, we get, had yeah. to have like in order to capture all the video that was going on around this this room. Carter had to be standing here on a uh, stage, a riser, and that was kind of inconvenient. Taking up floor space. So. Carter's always taking up floor space. So, so yeah, that. Anyway, wasn't... what were you going to show him over here? What I was going to show him over here was. First of all, we kind of mocked up what the area is going to look like a little bit. So the table, which is currently does not have the legs on it, is going to sit here. So we'll do our little interview things here. The TriCaster rig is over there. We'll take a look at that in a minute. There'll be a table over there. And interestingly, this bar that goes across right here, this ladder piece, is mobile. It will yes. move forward and backward so that we can mount the cameras and the chat room monitors and all they'll be hanging from this and we can move them forward or backward as need be that's awesome and so so that if we miss guesstimate guesstimate then we can move it and not have a problem that's true with lighting that's that awesome true. and then also we have over here a piece that goes above i think did you already say that above no, the 10 foot truss that will be for the banner yeah all um, of this you see all of this ridiculous stuff right here this serves one purpose and one purpose only. The purpose of this is to have a 20 foot wide, four foot tall banner. Ridiculous. But you know, you gotta way, be able to see where we are. By the way, that's thousands of dollars worth of trussing just for a to, banner. Just, just for the banner, it goes on the top. Silly. So you'll see it later. And then over here is where our, um, well, right now we are packing up equipment, but this is where the editors in chiefs and all the writers and everybody will be stationed. Yeah, on this side of on the set. on this side of the set so that they're pumping out content for you guys, posting all the videos that we're shooting and editing up a storm, all that good stuff. Although you'll see that later. We're showing you the gear right now. So we've got a case o cameras. There is one missing. Can you write that on the case? Queso cameras. cameras. There's one missing, but it's not really missing because that's it right there. We're using it. Yeah, Carter's got it in his greedy little hands. And then we have uh, all the mics that will be for guests. 
That's true. We and use these little us. these little microphones. And for our run and gun coverage that we use on the show floor and at press events like Showstoppers or CES Unveiled, uh, we use that mic. Do Wait, not we mistake that with your Bam Bam Hammer. Bam Bam Hammer. No, you're not allowed I'm to take, take it. My no, no. Uh. Okay, over here. We keep all of our stuff organized into bins. For example, oh God. Now she's got a walkie talkie and a bam bam hammer. It's not fitting. We've got bins here. So for example, audio, we've got all of our audio junk in here. Um, all these little, uh, I don't even really know what these things are. Only Ken knows what these are. I don't know. We've got this big snake thing that all the XLR mics cut. Here's what I know about this. It was freaking expensive. That's what I know about that. <laughs> Ken has a lot of power over us, doesn't he? Does, he he, he does. just says we need this we and get, bam. And it shows up. We got <laughs> XLR cables, monitor mounts, camera mounts, power cables, video, video cables. Power, more power, zip ties. Oh, a whole box full of zip ties. But you know what? We're going to do one thing different this year. What's that? That we did not do in years past. We organize things into crates because it makes them easy to find and transport, but we still end up with a whole bunch of crates to transport. Right, which is annoying when you have to walk, like how far was oh, must that be exactly? Like a mile. No, was not, it? Yeah, oh yeah. Was it, was. it really? It was okay, literally I didn't like, walk the mile. You wouldn't know, but it was like <laughs> a mile from where we had to get the stuff out of the truck to our place. So what we're doing instead is back in the back, I don't know, maybe Carter can get some B-roll and show you like right now. Uh, we've got this cage thing that we're gonna be loading all of these into. Then we take it, roll it onto the trailer and it is forkliftable. So that way all of these things just get carried by a machine. And we can flag one of the guys and say, hey, would you like to carry all this stuff? And they'll say yes. And then they'll take it over there. It happens exactly like that. It really does happen like that <laughs> for her. And also, not for me, but for her, yes. We have all sorts of power strips. Yeah, those uh, will be going in a big bag. Those will go in a bag, and then our big TVs for uh, behind the behind us That's on right. the set with the TV stands, uh, so that they have something to sit on. Yep, and then when they're not in use, we can ride on them. So you this can, is like, an awesome little contraption, by the way. The case, and then, and then somebody can just roll you around on this. That's not exactly what, you know what? I think you might have something better to ride around Oh, we will have something better to ride that. around. You know why? I'm not sure if we should even tell people yet. I don't know. We might need to keep that secret for now. Well, that's going to be a secret. We're going to be going to be a secret, but we will but something have awesome. We will have some official transportation for CES. You just wait and see. <laughs> All right, let us know what you, what more you want to know about the gear that we're taking. Uh, we'll just leave a comment below and we'll answer that. Wait! What? We're not taking Han Solo. No, it will not fit in the trailer. No, not Han Solo. Oh. We didn't show them the rig that we didn't show them the TriCast. Oh rig. my gosh, how did we forget about that? Like the thing that can't, nothing can even be done without it. This is where Dave Curley and Ken set up. Um, and this is basically their home through the entire CES. Yes. But this is the video link case. This thing is freaking awesome. That's right. We've got everything packed into here. We've got a TriCaster uh, 80, 855. Actually, that's been upgraded. It's an 860, I believe, in here. We've got some uh, drawers to that we stuff. can put stuff in. Like my, my walkie-talkie. Oh, good God. We actually have a Synology rack mount. Uh, NAS server in here, which will be used for all of our uh, files to be dumped onto as they're being recorded, and so that people who are working, the editors and stuff, can can put shared assets on there and pull them off uh, with the network. You'll see on the back we've got a network. We've got two uh, Mac Mini servers in here. We've got an Atomos. Uh, this is like an HDMI to HDSDI converter. We've got dual monitors in down here for. For monitoring like these Mac minis or whatever else we want. We've got a UPS down here, a battery backup that everything runs through so it does line conditioning and also provides battery uh, in case we lost power. Um, we've got keyboard tray, keyboard tray and with a little magical hidden slots here. Yeah for super Oops. secret uh, hard drive storage. We got the and control then of the service. Control service. We all, a mixer. Yep, mixer. We also use the Blackmagic Video uh, Hub here, which allows us to change around which inputs and outputs go to where. So we can take, let's say, 
uh, the single output video feed from this and feed it to monitors within our setup here or feed it to multiple outgoing streams, etc. And then we've got a mixer up here for, uh, for audio stuff or, or this, I'm sorry, this is the compressor limiter that, that combines with the mixer so that when, when Callie screams, it doesn't peak. I don't peak. scream, I go woohoo! Yeah, she does do Sorry. That. And then the this, back. but, but oh, just ahead. so you know, if you haven't seen this, this yeah. all folds down and it's portable and it's secure so that we can take it on the road and not worry about anything. And then when we get to the venue, we just open it up and it's already set up, which and makes Ken and Dave very happy. That's right. On the back, we've got other junk oh, back here. You okay there, Carter? Yeah, I'm good. We've got other junk back here. We've got our router. This particular router we're using is a uh, TP-Link. It's a load balancing router. So we could actually connect multiple internet connections here and it will load balance between them. And on top of it, we've got a little baby router. It's not really a baby router. It's a pretty decent router, but we only use this for our Wi-Fi access point. And the reason we use this particular one is because this is the most powerful one you can buy. So what we do is we over broadcast everybody else. We just totally just win. That's what it's all about, winning. And then we got power distribution. And then we've got a gigabit ethernet switch down here so that we can have uh, as many people in the, in the area that want to be connected to it, um, connected via ethernet instead of Wi-Fi. So, that's our look. We'll clean up all the cables later yeah. on, but right now it's pretty good. Now, now, now you can, you can wrap leave it up. comments yes. below and we'll answer them. And uh, be sure to check out geeky.tv slash CES live for all the coverage from CES next week. We're also gonna have giveaways. <gasps> Lots of giveaways. Even while and we're driving, Carter and I are driving. This is the universal symbol for driving. Right. Of course. And we're going to be driving to Las Vegas and we're going to give stuff away while we're driving. Indeed. Do you even know what we're giving away? Uh, not yet, but it'll, but we'll, we'll be working on that this week and you're going to find out soon. I'm not going to yeah. tell you anyway. Um, okay. All right, guys, we're out of here. Thumbs up on YouTube. Bye guys. Uh, two if you got them. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>